Hi, I'm Heather from the Fiercely Independent Network, and we're here at Upstate Films in Woodstock for the screening of There Should Be Rules. Uh, it's a movie set in Sweden in a little town. We don't really know where it is, but they're these three friends. They're best friends. They do everything together. Um, then they encounter some, some difficulties in life. They're trying to grow up and everything that that entails. Um, they fall in love with the right people and the wrong people, and uh, they fight. They have problems with their parents, and mm -hmm. yeah, and they're trying to pretty much figure out how to grow up. That the, the friendship in the film was something that was very important to her because when she was young, she says she experienced friendships as almost being in love. Um, that friendships when we're younger hit us very hard, and they're very intense, and they disappear just as quickly. And she experienced in her aging that she, she doesn't have those friendships anymore. Um, so she wanted to express in this film that type of friendship. I think because I do think that Linda Maria has a very specific style to the way she is filming and the way she wants the actors to work together. And yeah, and just like all the techniques she's using. And I mean, she, you can, if you watch the movie, you see that there are a lot of like, what is it called, like visual effects that are kind of different. And she's playing around with that a lot. I think just for her to have the freedom to do that is part of the independence. Mm -hmm. If you have a production company that is behind um, new ideas, um, I think that is kind of the focus on independent film. Um, not so much the big studios and it kind of gets clumped together in the everyday, this is the movie, this is the structure, this is the story. Um, so I think, I think as far as like the film festival, the Woodstock Film Festival and all the independent films that they have and what it means, um, this film fits really nicely into mm -hmm. it. Um, and we are very excited to see the rest of the films because it's kind of it's what keeps me going is the independent field rather than, you know, the big companies. For more from the Independent Network and to learn more about the film festival, please go to WoodstockFilmFestival.com.